Honorable Speaker, Deputy Speaker, Mr. President, Deputy President, Members, as we all reflect on SONA 2020, I dare say that most South Africans were disappointed in one way or another. The spectacle was a twisted showcase of what certain South African politicians lack in respect of accountability, dignity, and leadership. Mr. President, you are correct when you state that South Africa's potential is boundless. Potential can also flounder under repressive policies and unfavorable conditions. We must not let the success of the South African rugby team or the Miss Universe title cloud our view and give us a false sense of achievement as a nation. Yes, these are moments which made us proud to be South Africans, and these achievements came despite the government's obvious failures. If government, however, proceeds in its current trajectory, soon there will be very, very little achievements to celebrate. Mr. President, you are quite correct when you say that the country is facing a stark reality. Government is making it increasingly impossible for business owners to create jobs in the midst of crippling taxes, unaffordable minimum wages, electricity shortages, and BE policies. BE policies which has only succeeded to create corrupt elite whilst the poor are getting poorer. Mr. President, Hotla Sintle, Ria Kupa, Tusa Mabulu, the Boeren Graaf Reinet Omgeving, in the Oostkap was hopeful that the President and his Staatsrede droog to help so aankondig. In plekke soos van Wijksvlei in the Kareberg district, gaan het op die oomlik nie net oor vee wat vrek nie. Daar is mense wat dageliks hul kinders in die oor moet kyk en verduidelik om te daar die kost is om op die tafel te sit nie. Honorable Dutwee, please take your seat. Honorable Ndlozi, you are on your feet. Thanks, Honorable Speaker. I wanted to check if it's parliamentary for the Honorable Member to say tu nia mabur. Honorable Dutwee said nothing of the sort. He said tu sa. Oh, Tunya, Tusa, okay. Mm -hmm. That was not a point of order. Honorable Dutoy, please continue. Uabua Hutunya and Tati, Kibaklan, President Ya Kaku Hutusa Kwamu. Talabur in South Africa at Reeds, Viens die Drochte, Talabur in South Africa as a fee at Reeds, Viens die Brochte gefrek. Ons is bewus van die feit that South Africans a Boer van Krotspiel. At the Werknemers moet afle as gevolg van the die feit dat hulle nie meer brood nodig of voedsel kan produseer nie. Hy erken hier die krisis in die staatsrede, meneer die president, maar op een onverklaarbare wijze gaan hy voort om nie hulp te verleen aan die commerciële boere nie. En die focus bly slechts op opkomende boere. Dit is onaanvaarbaar. Voedselsekerheid moet in alle tye beskerm word, meneer die president. Boere is werkgevers, die er nie hulp te verleen nie. Dra hy bij tot voedsel onsekerheid, economische inkrimping, as ook werkloosheid. Die absurditeit van die plan om eerder te focus op die aanplanting van marihuana en droogte werende sare weerspreek die belofte van inclusieve groei. Hierdie projekte is voorbeelde van toekomstige projekte wat slechts goed op papier lyk, maar ons sit hier en nou met die probleem. Die commerciële boer het op hierdie oomlik hulp nodig. Dit is baie dringend. These projects are not mitigating the current effects of the multi-year droughts which devastated many of our rural communities. The Freedom Front Plus welcomes the introduction of specialized units as far as crimes and economic disruption is concerned. We also take note of the fact that anti-gang units will be further strengthened. The Freedom Front Plus has been asking for specialized units to deal with murders, farm murders, and robberies. This is a very real problem in South Africa. This has not been addressed or even admitted by you, Mr. President. Waarom is het so moeilik om te erken dat plaasmoorde in Zuid-Afrika een probleem is wat dringend aangespreek moet word? Waarom word het nie eens een prioriteitsmisdaad verklaar nie? Rural communities are affected negatively as a whole when a farmer, irrespective of race, is slaughtered. Met het saam is daar sprake dat die burgerij ontwapen moet word. That is unanfarbar, Mr. President. The police can't guarantee South African citizens their safety and are not equipped to fight crime effectively. The afgelopen week is a boer vrouw in Noordwest die er drie maans aangeval. Hulle probeer om haar te verwerg. 
The 71-year-old Johannes Mazibuku was murdered by six attackers. His throat was cut. Kathy Irving, Aboid Firi, Fahad Musa, and Saki and Ina van den Berg was ook slagoffers van plaats aanvallen. Dit is die realiteit wat ons in die gezicht staat. Mr. President, amending section 25 and threatening private property rights will not just happen. Please take note that we have more to hold on to than just our own abilities. In closing, believers in South Africa has got an instruction from God. I'm referring to Joshua 1 verse 9. Be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Daarom sê die VF Plus aan alle Suid-Afrikaners, ons sal nie swag onder die aanslag en die aanvalle nie. Jou tijd is van streke, meneer. En raak nie mismoedig nie. Dank u so.